thanks for watching my video today let's evaluate this limit right here okay and let's get started this is our limit let's write this limit in terms of sum okay Okay, you can plug it like this. Okay, and plus R because R equal to one, you get this two, then you get and go on. Okay. I think this is to be an okay. Okay. Up to and down. This must be an so <coughs> mm. Now, since this this summation does not depend on n, okay. Now, the mean I can plug this n inside, okay, like this n plus r whole square. This is limit n tends to infinity, sum of r equal to 1 to n. And now taking out n square common, you get what? 1 plus r by n, right? Whole square. So, simplify it there, and tends to infinity. Sum from r equal to 1 to n. You get 1 over n. 1 over 1 plus r by n, whole square, right? So, using our property and limit, okay? Using our definite integral, so limit and tends to infinity. This summation will change to integral 1 over uh, this 1 over 1 plus r by n is tends to x and 1 by n is tends to dx. What about here the limit? The limit is when r tends to 1, then r by n will tends to what 0, right? And when r tends to n, then r by n will tends to 1, okay? This is the point. <coughs> now, we are going to evaluate this one. This is easy. 1 plus x to the negative 2 dx, which is 1 plus x to the power negative 2 plus 1 over negative 2 plus 1 from 0 to 1. Okay, if you plug here 1, then you will get 2 to the power mi minus 1 over minus 1, right? Minus, if you plug 0, you will get 1 to the power minus 1 over minus 1, right? Which is, this is nothing but minus half right plus this is one so one minus half mean half again so this is our answer limit n tends to infinity and one over n plus one whole square plus one over n plus two whole square plus and so on plus one over n plus n whole square is equal to half so our limit is nothing but half again okay?